Hotel, I'm originally from Belfast, a peaceful village you would have read about over the years, <laughs> where my grandfather was an optimist, he used to sell superannuation. Now, and there's no seat allocation on Jetstar, and some now, uh, they've started it, but uh, a lot of them, yesterday there wasn't. It was every man for himself to get a seat. It's like the running of the bulls in Spain, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody blows a whistle, 300 people run across the tarmac fighting and kicking, <laughs> biting at each other, get out of the way, get in the seat, this is my seat. I get on board and I've become one of them. I'm in there, I've strapped myself in. And a man came up, a good looking man, he came out, that's my seat. I said, don't start. I'm not fighting with you, but I'm not moving either. He said, fine, you fly it. You know. So, I didn't know it was the pilot, to stay with me now. So I'm sitting in the hospital waiting room, waiting for this great moment, you see, to become a grandfather. And I'm sitting there beside my ex-wife, God love her, who lives over there, you see, just the two of us in the same small enclosed area. <laughs> Long labor, six hours, just the two of us looking at each other. How are you doing, you know? I mean, how many times can you read the wall chart, you know? So, now we're friends. We're, I'm sitting beside her, what was her name? Let me think. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. Plaintiff. So I'm sitting beside the plaintiff. So, so Joshua's born. That's a biblical name, isn't it? Because they've gone on cycles. You say, if you're a baby boomer, and there's a couple in the room, you got the biblical name, didn't you? You got the Paul or the Simon or the Peter. Joshua was. was, was there, Judas wasn't popular back in the 40s. <laughs> Not a great name for a job interview, I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> Look, you have the qualifications, and I'm sure the other 11 in the sales force would welcome you. <laughs> what was your first name again? <laughs> Judas. Ooh. No, we don't have an opening. Try marketing, though. They're looking for a two-faced backstabbing. But anyway, so... But he was great as James Bond. He was fabulous, you know. That white tuxedo, vodka martini, shake and not stir. I thought he was great. Can you imagine Stallone as James Bond? <laughs> Look, ooh, ooh, ooh. you drill. <laughs> Michael Caine fought the Zulus. Why didn't he get it? That is right, Sean. And you won't believe. I've told you, put down that spear. You fuzzy wuzzy Zulu, you. <laughs> Gregory Peck would have been wonderful. All right, men, let's bear down for the night. <laughs> Tomorrow we meet the enemy. I realize there are 3,000 of them and only six of us. Now it's possible a few of your men will not come back. I only wish I could go with you. Can you imagine if Robert De Niro had played James Bond? insult would be to let Jack Nicholson play our hero. <sighs> I want to cooperate with you here. 100% right down the line, for Christ. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. And you can't handle the truth. And your wife is so ugly, she'd make a train take a dirt road. You're dismissed, so... <laughs> Here comes Johnny!